Jaro. Hey guys, my name is Honey, Potakot Honey, you can call me Dripping Honey, and we are live at the Potakot Cancer Walk, going down at the Yakub Gowan Stadium. So we're going to be walking five kilometers from here, and we're going to cross through and get back. There are so many volunteers here, so many dignitaries, so many people from Potakot and beyond ready to do this with us. We're also going to be having breast cancer screening. We're also going to be checking out the men. Remember that daily, 15 men die of prostate cancer and 28 women of cervical cancer and 30 women of breast cancer. So it's so serious that we're here to walk, get tested and create awareness for cancer in Nigeria and the world, the global space. So stay locked. They say when you get to the age of 40 and above, you need to constantly go for yearly medical checkups, annual medical checkups for prostate cancer. Uh, personally, I've maintained that ever since I crossed 40. I encourage every man out there, even before the age of 40, to go out there and do your checkup. Essentially, I'm impressed because this is one thing that we know that is geared towards enhancing good health for the people of River State, particularly my constituency, the good men of the Apple Council. So, well, as the majority leader of River State House of Assembly, we are happy that this kind of thing is happening and we'll give any kind of support that is required to make sure that this is a continuous. Cancer can happen, it can happen to anybody. So, the whole aim is know that this is happening in Nigeria, go out and get yourself checked. For some that cannot afford the treatment, you also create like this Jimo guy now. It's also an avenue to raise funds for him and then get people to know that we have a patient that is suffering this and needs our assistance. So basically the work is for awareness and this is our first time in Port Harcourt and the turn off was really good, so thank you. We are here to support uh, our great partner project Pink Blue uh, to create this awareness, uh, to get people screened and also to ensure that people get treated on time. Because uh, early detection is very important, but also very important is early treatment. They follow sugar daddies, no they do. More people should come out and create this awareness. We shouldn't be shy about it. We should run for whatever it is to cure ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Take good care of yourself, man. I live a life, dude. Yes, sir. I love you, she know the uh, uh, money they open. Uh, I'm feeling your hustle uh, with everything uh, you do. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know I love you. Uh, I feel as an entertainer, we must find a way to give back to the people who comes out to support us every now and then. You know, so there must be a way to do some sort of CSR to give back to these people who support your brand every day. Sophia, the promoter, tell us what what motivated you to come out for this? Wow, it's cancer and my dad died of it. Assuming we, we knew on time, I don't think he would have died. It's something we need to, like, if you can allow this, scream it, shout it, let people know that they need to come out and know on time. PSA is an indirect check. So over the years, once you notice the value is beginning to rise, you catch it early. The secret to surviving cancer is early detection and prompt treatment. I am a reproductive health advocate and cancer, especially cervical cancer and breast cancer are reproductive health issues. So I'm here because I'm excited about making sure that women and girls have, you know, access to more fulfilling health um, at home, especially their reproductive health. I believe the government of the day can do more. Cancer is like the new frontier. It's become an epidemic. And even though we live in Port Harcourt, right now the South South, the entire South South, doesn't have um, a functional treatment machine. We have to send patients who are very sick, who have spent a lot out of pocket, great distances. Yes, there's a lot going on now presently, trying to get a machine locally. But as of today, we still don't have. 
So, I mean, that part of the care is something that is still sorely lacking and that needs to be addressed. And I believe that this work will be calling yeah, awareness to that. All of them treat me like a goalie yeah. Right now my life is a miracle. All the ladies wanna lick me like a lollipop. I saw they were excited, some were surprised. I'm sure that they are seeing this for the first time in these numbers. So we have actually ignited something in them. And I can tell you many of them are asking questions. What is going on? How can we be a part of it? That is a big achievement. The moment people can know that this exists, and then the steps they need to take to address it, especially early. When you have family, friends living with cancer, show them support. What they need is your support, both financial, psychological, psychosocial support, most importantly. Then spread the message. Some people still don't know what cancer is. Some people don't know it's that important. So that's my last word. Please join the fight. A lot of people die every day as a result of cancer. I've lost a very close relative to cancer. So it's, it's something that we need to create awareness about. Today, uh, we are commemorating for Tarkot Cancer Walk, um, it's a community-led initiative driven by people who live in Potakot to find a way to engage the community, to engage policymakers, to engage everyone around the city of Potakot and its environs, to create awareness about cancer, to promote early detection, and as much as fast as well as increasing support for people who are battling with cancer. As I speak to you today, according to WHO, over 15 Nigerians die of prostate cancer every single day. And then for women, about 31 women actually die of breast cancer every day. And for cervical cancer, about 26. This is really getting too much. Uh, I mean, in 2012, about 72,000 Nigerians died of cancer, of different types of cancer. In 2008, according to WHO, about 102 people died of cancer. And you see all sort of environmental degradations happening around across the country. But the truth is that very few is being done to reduce the incidence of cancer. As I speak to you today, there is no single working radiotherapy machine in the whole of South South region. And this is the region that actually have the greatest resource that the entire country uses. But you don't have sufficient care for people battling with cancer. If any woman is diagnosed with breast cancer or cervical cancer and she needs radiotherapy treatment, or if any man is diagnosed with prostate cancer or colorectal cancer and he or she needs radiotherapy treatment, he has to travel from Yenegua all the way to Abuja. Sometimes you have to even travel all the way from Potakot as far as well as Sokoto. People, even in people in Benin, have to also travel far away to receive. For the whole region, there is no single radiotherapy machine that is working. Okay, it's so really a shame and we have to do what we can to change this, including the government, including you know, private sectors, philanthropists. We all need to take action to reduce the incidence of burden and ensure that when people are diagnosed of cancer, they are able to find it. <laughs> So just pass on when it be Jimmy Amagede. When it be Zubi Onu.